What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and in today's video we're doing a review and tutorial on the new ColourPop Cabana Club eyeshadow palette. So here is the ColourPop Cabana Club palette. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to show you the shades and show you how I got this look. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you be a part of my beauty YouTube family. So click that subscribe button down below. I upload new videos every week. And for the month of July, we are supporting these six charities. Their websites will be in the description box down below so you can learn more and donate if you can. Now let's get into the video. So this is the ColourPop Cabana Club eyeshadow palette from ColourPop Cosmetics. You can get this on the ColourPop website and it's also available on Ulta.com. On the back you will see the shade names listed and there is an asterisk next to the shade Pool Party which is this blue shade right here and it states that it is not intended for the immediate eye area. And just so you know, I called this an eyeshadow palette, but it's actually called a pressed powder palette. That's a bunch of legal stuff and I don't know. I'll have to Google it to figure out what that's about. I don't know why they do that. I love the packaging and the beautiful colors and the blue water. It's just so summer vibe. So obviously there's no mirror, but I love the design. And here are the shades. They're matte and shimmer shades. There's no glitter or sequin shades. Just so you know when I'm talking about sequin shades, I'll show you this palette. And you can see this is a sequin shade right here. It's matte, but it does have little flecks of shimmer in it. And I'm not a big fan of that because I find that the shimmer kind of goes everywhere when you use it. So I'm glad that this palette does not have those formulas because those are not my favorite. I love their matte and shimmer formula and that is what's in this palette. It's gorgeous. So now for some swatches. Pigmented, gorgeous, I love them. So I always like to do live swatches for you just so you can see initially how they apply, but they're very difficult to do. So I'm just going to swatch the rest and show you. They swatched perfectly. They're pigmented. They're smooth. They're not patchy. They are beautiful. Usually when I review a new product like this, it is for the first time, so it's a first impression, but I've actually had this palette for about a week and I've been using it over and over again. So in the tutorial, it's gonna be a two for one. I'm gonna show you my go-to look. It's my favorite look, but I'm also going to switch it up and add a little bit of color and show you how I got this eye look. So let's get into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with a fluffy brush and the yellow shade and then go really high up on the crease with this color just blending and windshield wiper motions and circular motions same brush I'm gonna go in using Rattan which is a gorgeous neutral brown shade and I'm gonna go in the crease with that so this is going to mix with the yellow and create a little bit of an orange ombre effect. Love it. Now going in with Take It Easy, this orangey brown shade, and I'm gonna get this in the middle of the crease, lower towards the lid of the eye. See, it's just creating a nice gradient effect. Going in with the darkest brown shade called Throwing Shade, and I'm just gonna pat this in the outer corner of the eye. I'm taking it up into the crease just slightly. I'm just barely pressing the bristles onto the skin to get that nice blend. That's pretty much it for this natural looking makeup. It's just pretty and soft and you can add a little shimmer on the lid if you want to. But I'm gonna take it up a notch and use a little bit of the color in the palette and I'm gonna go in using Bikini, this pretty pink shade. Just gonna add that to the front part of the eye. I saw this on Instagram, uh, Selena Gomez just had pink like in the inner corner. So that gave me the idea to do this. So I'm just blending it into the front of the crease. Now taking a flat brush and a concealer, I'm gonna cut the crease. So taking the brush that I use for the dark brown, I'm just going to blend the edges ever so slightly. And going back in with this orangey shade, gonna blend that edge a little bit more again then 
going back in with the pink shade. And I'm just going to put that in the front. And then I'm gonna add yellow in the inner corner. And I wanted a little bit of shimmer as well. So I'm gonna go in using this shade. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Now to cover up the remaining base, I'm gonna go into the Garden Variety palette. I know I cheated a little bit with this one, but I just love this shade so much. It's called Deserted. I'm just going to blend out the edges. We're going to add some liquid liner. This is the roller liner from Benefit Cosmetics. And I am going to wing it out just a little bit. This is the Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil from Essence. And it is in the shade Silky Nude. This really makes your eyes look really wide and open. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, add some mascara, and then pop on some lashes. I'm using these from Beauty Creations. I will put the name below. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and I'll be back to finish the face. So I know I look a little crazy, but I saw a makeup tutorial by Makeup by Ariel. He is a celebrity makeup artist and he left the bake on the nose for a very, very long time. So that's why I'm leaving it on there just to test it out, see how it looks. I love that sucked in nose look that you get from the Instagram filters. So that's what we're trying out today. But anyway, just so you know, that's what that is. <laughs> Let's finish these eyes up. I'm gonna go back into the palette and use the darkest brown shade. And I'm just gonna line the lower lash line with that on the outer corner. Then I'm gonna go in with the light brown, which is Raton. And then of course throw in a little bit of that orangey brown, which is called Take It Easy. And put that in the middle. Gonna bronze the skin with the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. Looks like this. Go in with my fluffy brush and just pat that. I like to pat a little bit on the highlighted areas too, just so it's not too dramatically highlighted. It makes it look more blended. Now for blush, I'm going in with my favorite. This is the MAC Blush and Floor Power. I'm gonna dab that onto the cheek. A little bit on the tip of the nose with that and on the bridge of the nose. I've seen people do that. Love it! Do I look like a filter yet? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna set the face using the MAC Fix Plus Pink Lit. I have a problem with makeup coming off my nose, so I'm gonna cover it. Now I got my new little pink Baddie B fan. Love it. Oh, that feels so good. That's probably my favorite part of the makeup process. <laughs> now for highlighter, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter and it is called Sparks. It has like a golden glow to it. I just love how naturally glowy it is. I do have another shade called Iced Out and this one can go like woo, overboard. So it, I think it depends on what shade you get. Onto the cupid's bow a little bit with that. And a little bit on the chin here. And I'm just gonna go over the bake with this. And I'm loving this so much, I'm gonna add some to the brow bone. Put some in the inner corner here. It's stunning and it's so soft and natural, like that wet look, but without being too sparkly. Like this is just chef's kiss. Love this. And then brows, mascara, lips, all of that. I'll put it in the description box down below just in case you're curious what else I'm wearing. Let's get rid of the bake now. Let's kind of softly blend that out. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I love it so, so much. This is a beautiful palette. Now let's get into my final thoughts. 
So my final thoughts for the ColourPop Cabana Club palette, I give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. All these colors work perfectly for my skin tone. This has been a go-to for me every single day ever since I got it. A very neutral palette, but there's also some fun pops of color for the summertime if you want to play with some purple, some blues. And these um, golden shades are very orangey, gives you sunset vibes. So I love this palette. It is by far my favorite palette from ColourPop. Plus, it's really pretty to look at. It's just so colorful on summer vibes. I love this palette because it's just matte and shimmer. There's no sequin shades or glitters, and those are my least favorite formulas from ColourPop, so I'm glad that this palette does not contain those. This is just my dream palette. I love it so, so much. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you be a part of my beauty YouTube family. So just click that subscribe button down below. I upload new videos every week. And for this month, we are supporting these six charities. So definitely check the links in the description box to learn more. Thank you for spending your time with me today and I will see you in the next video.